The bad soul, however, is in contrast to that. Rasulullah told us, as for the bad soul, the opposite happens. Two angels who look terrible, whose face is darkened and horrible, they come down. And the angel of death stands at the head. And the two angels bring with them ugly smelling smell from hellfire and a, a shroud from hellfire. And the angel of death says, Come out, O dirty, stinking soul. Come out to a wrath from your Lord and a displeasure from Him. Well, the hadith says that the soul runs away inside the body. And he rips it out. When he rips it out, Rasulullah gives an, an example, an image, like a thorny tree inside of wet wool. And you rip it out. Until the veins and everything inside sort of rip away, metaphorically speaking. Or is it really in reality? Only Allah knows how. But the point is, he feels it or she feels it. As though all of the veins and arteries in their body are ripped apart. And I've heard. I've heard and seen myself actually. Just one case. Not as bad as this, but I've heard even worse cases. Uh, people, yeah, only from this area actually. Went to a janazah the other, last year. And the brother said, I was at my father's deathbed at the hospital and next to him were people non-muslims non yeah, well, disbelievers Allah alam, what they have done of deeds only God knows what bad things they've done he said they're dying and wallahi brother I don't know why but I see them jumping up and down off their bed as if someone's grabbed them and they're just throwing them up and down like that I've heard it from many people yeah, and the nurses say this is normal they get up and they smash their heads back on and they have to put them on morphine just to calm the body down as his father, his father died peacefully. We ask Allah subhanahu wa to have mercy on his brother's father. And on to Mawtana and Mawtana Muslim and all of our dead ones. But it's not a simple matter. He says, as soon as the angel of death carries the soul, the two angels grab it. They put it in this shroud from hellfire and his ugly smelling stuff from hellfire. And they go up into the heavens as well. They all get the opportunity to go through, brothers and sisters. The believing soul and the disbelieving soul, according to the hadiths, they all get the opportunity to go up. And every time it passes a group of angels, they say, Whoa, what is this thinking soul? And they say, Fulan ibn Fulan, so and so, son of so and so, with the worst names that they was ever called in this world. The worst. And everyone run away from it. It will reach the first sky. And the angels will say, What is this thinking soul? And they will say, So and so, son of so and so, with the worst names. It will be asked to open the doors for it and they refuse. Allah says this in the Quran actually. وَلَا يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةَ حَتَّى يَلِجَ الْجَمَلُ فِي سَمِّ الْخِيَاطُ Allahu Akbar. This is a great warning from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's saying those who disbelieved in our ayat, our signs, وَاسْتَكْبَرُوا عَنْهَا And they felt, and, and they had arrogance and vanity over it. They thought they're too good for it. The doors of the skies will not open for them. This is the, in the tafsir, this is what happens. When the soul goes up, the doors of the sky close. They're not allowed in. They are exiled, they are prevented. The doors of the heavens will not open for them. And they will never enter paradise. Listen to this description that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives. He said, they will never enter paradise until the camel, until the camel enters through the hole of a needle, of a needle that you sew with. You know the needle that you put the, the thread through? Because when the camel enters through that hole, they'll enter paradise. This is in the Quran. And he never is it possible for a camel to enter through that hole of it? Never. That's what Allah says. Or well, the angels throw the soul down from the top, they throw it. And because Allah says this in the Quran as well about those who made shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they will be thrown from the sky. And this is in Surah Al-Hajj. It says that they will be thrown from the heavens down onto the earth, into the body, 
the body would have been pre been prepared and it will enter the grave. The Prophet ﷺ said, Munkar wa come to it. And they woke it up with terror. It wakes up and sees this monstrosity in front of it. Obviously for them, there is no firmness of the heart. For they died disbelieving, they don't want him, Allah. Allah doesn't want them therefore, because they chose not to want him. And the angels are, will ask them, مَنْ رَبُّكْ مَنْ مَا دِينُكْ مَاذَا تَقُولُ بِرَجِلَ لَذِي بُوَيْتَ فَهُمْ They ask them the same three questions. But Allah does not give them the answer on their tongue. Rather, He makes their mind so cloudy with this fear that they say, Ah, oh, ah, oh, لا أدري, لا أدري. Ah, oh, ah, oh, لا أدري. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I don't know. The word ah, oh, ah oh, here, what, what, what the interpretation of it is that they, they used to remember some of them, or they're trying to remember, but, but for some reason they just can't. Oh, as if they know the answer, but they can't remember it, they can't recall it. La adri, I don't know. Then ask them the second question. Ah, oh, oh, la adri, I, I just don't know. And then a door from the right is opened, and they see heaven, and they say, This is your place. It was awaiting you, but you lost it. Then they close it and they open a door from the left and he sees hellfire. He says, that's what's awaiting you now. But as soon as he says this, the Hadith of Prophet says, فيقول, the Kafir, the disbeliever says, Ya Rabbi, la taqim as Oh my Lord, don't let the last hour come. Don't let the world end. Let it go. His grave is tightened, not as far as he could see at all. And it is Hufratum in Hufar in Nar, a pit from the pits of hellfire, Walayadu Billah. So he burns somewhat. And a company that brings bad news comes and sits with him. Horrible monster. And he says, Man anta Who are you for your face brings bad news? And he says, Ana amaluka al khabith. I am your bad actions. Look what you turned me into. I will never leave you. 